Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy. I'm about to do something I don't recommend and that is wash my engine. Uh, it's something a lot of you have asked me questions about. I decided to do this and try this and just give you a few tips along the way in case you do decide to do this. And I also want to see if this is actually going to have an effect on my engine. So in other words, this thing is running perfectly right now. I'm going to wash the engine, come back in a week and see if it's still running good. And if it is, we'll call it a win. If not, well, we can say that washing our engine is definitely not a good idea. But at least for today, we're going to make this engine much cleaner than it is now. Now here's my engine the way it is now. Some of you can complain that it's dirty, and it is. It's mostly just dirt, and it has some oil on the outside here. Uh, if you're washing off oil, I recommend you get some form of degreaser or something like that that you can spray on ahead of time. But more than anything else, make sure that the car wash that you're doing this at has, uh, is okay with you doing it, because some of them have special traps and things for all this junk that's on here, and some of them don't. So make sure this is okay with the car wash before you ever do it. One thing to watch out for is electrical components, especially things like your ignition and distributor. Get water in there, it could be a problem. Also, down here on the front of the transmission, I don't know if you can see that really well, but that is the vent for the transmission. Anytime you have moving parts inside of an enclosed area, you need a vent. So watch out for vents. You don't want to add water to something you don't want to add water to. But outside of that, well, good luck. And like I said, I'm just going to try this and uh, see how it works out. This is where those degreasers would come in really handy. I just wanted to rinse this off and see what I could do. Well, there it is, the end result. It's much better than it was before. It's much cleaner. I can see things and hopefully work on things a little bit better. And now we'll start it up and see how it runs. But before we do that, I'm gonna put a little more money in the machine and actually finish washing this car. Here's a closer look at my handiwork. Yes, we lost some paint, but that was happening anyway. But it's much cleaner, the dust is gone. I definitely got uh, in there. And it's, uh, it's looking pretty good. Like I said, the degreaser would have helped with stuff like this a little better, but I was able to get the stuff off the transmission just fine. All in all, I think it turned out really well. It's time to start it up post washing the engine. It ran perfect before. Hopefully it still runs perfect. Let's see what happens. So far, no check engine lights, no nothing. Still running pretty good. I'm gonna drive it for a week, make sure everything's still cool. We'll come back, we'll check to see how things are then. So it is now officially one week later and I'm going to start the car. And I have experienced zero, nothing, no problems, no nothing whatsoever. It's still running just as good as it did before I washed the engine. So in my case, everything worked out okay. And once it's warmed up, you can't even tell it's running. 
Now for me, this was a complete success. My engine runs just as good now as it did before I washed the engine. And I wanted to wait a week in between just to make sure everything was okay and I have, everything's fine. However, I must say proceed with caution if you're going to wash your engine. I can't tell you how many times people have contacted me after washing an engine and said my car doesn't start or it doesn't run right. It's, it's not uncommon. So definitely be careful around distributors, ignition systems, sensitive electronics, stuff like that. Uh, you definitely don't want to get water where it's not supposed to be. Also those little vents that I mentioned, uh, keep an eye out for those. You don't want water getting into something that shouldn't have water on it. Uh, if you have a particularly greasy engine or you want to speed the process, engine degreasers are a good option. You can find those. I'm sure at your local auto parts store and follow the instructions for how to use them. Uh, if you decide to go to a car wash place like I did, I would contact them ahead of time and make sure they're okay with them, you washing your engine at their facility. While I was there, I noticed there were all kinds of signs and things that said they didn't want you washing lawn equipment and all that kind of stuff. So I just called just to make sure and they said it was okay. Uh, so you definitely want to check with them ahead of time. If you're doing this in your driveway, be mindful that everything that you're washing off your engine goes onto your driveway or into your gravel or whatever. That's not really good for the environment, so certainly keep that in mind. Outside of that, if you have automotive questions, I ask that you go to airatthecarguy.com. I'll link that down in the description along with additional information that might be useful to you, so please check there. Uh, if you're subscribed to Eric the Car Guy, I ask that you click the little bell icon so that you're notified when I post new videos. I close my videos with be safe, have fun, stay dirty. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.